the thing about this challenge was that it actually became a self-imposed torture, like a living hell. <laughs> I hope he comes out in one piece. I hope he doesn't breathe to death. Oh, no, I don't believe it. How did you do that? It's crazy, bro. I hope he don't die down there. This is for real, man. Go ahead. Yo, where you from? This is serious stuff that's never been done before. Oh, oh my God. Absolutely crazy. I don't want to see him go out. I mean, he's in there. He did. I think this is taking a little too far. It's crazy. People think I have a death wish. For me, when I confront death is when I'm most alive. In April of 1999, I began testing the limits of human endurance by burying myself alive in a glass coffin. For seven days, I existed on water and air, alone in my mind in public isolation. I emerged seven days later a changed man. Later, after months of physical training and mental preparation, I was again ready. These are the doctors that advised me against the physical dangers of doing the ice and recommended that I stay far away from this one. Nobody had prepared me for the mental difficulties I was to face. <laughs> 